Ready, set, go! We're in a sub battle this week with the Raiders Report. We're trying to take down Mitchell Rance, whoever gets the most new subs before kickoff on Saturday night, wins this competition we're having here at Chat Sports. Go down, hit that big red subscribe button. Dolphins Today is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Our newest sponsor here at Chat Sports is offering cell phone plans starting as low as $15 per month. I am Will Scott. Welcome into Dolphins Today. Yesterday, we gave you guys a video talking about the initial roster cuts. The Dolphins got their roster down to 85. Next week, they got to get it down to 80. The week after that, they got to get it down to 53. So I'm going to give you an updated roster projection after those initial cuts. It has been weeks since I have done a roster projection video. But since they did those cuts yesterday, I wanted to get you guys another roster projection. And we do have some changes to discuss. One of those being Skylar Thompson making this football team. I am projecting that the seventh round pick out of Kansas State is going to make the Miami Dolphins 53-man roster. He was not in my initial roster projection video a couple months back. Now he is. I think the Dolphins are going to carry three quarterbacks. And look, Skylar Thompson needs to make this team. You learned your lesson last year trying to get cute, trying to sneak Reed in it through waivers and onto the practice squad. It did not work. He got snatched up. Now he's a very good backup in Philadelphia. Do not make the same mistake with Skylar Thompson. You need to make sure he makes this football team because the way he's playing right now in training camp and, of course, that unbelievable debut he had on Saturday night, someone is going to snatch that guy up. Now, will the Dolphins carry three quarterbacks? Tua Tungavailoa, Teddy Bridgewater, and Skylar Thompson. Sky's the limit. That's my guy. Type Y for yes or type N for no. Down in the comments section, go down, chime in. I think at this point, they have to. It's going to be a tough decision, but you cannot let Skylar Thompson get away. Let's talk about the running backs. I think four running backs make this football team. Chase Edmonds, Raheem Mostert, Sony Michelle, Miles Gaskin, with Alec Ingold being the fullback. Who gets cut? Well, probably Salvan Ahmed will get cut. I like Ahmed, but there's just not room. Jared Doak, seventh round pick last year. He gets let go is along with backup fullback John Lovett. Practice squad, Zaquandre White. That is my roster projection for the running backs on this team. Now, Gaskin is still a trade candidate. He could still very well get traded which might open the door for Ahmed or White to make this football team. So do you think that Gaskin will be traded before the start of the season? When running backs and other teams go down, they might be calling the Dolphins about Gaskin. Type T for trade, or if you don't think he gets traded and the Dolphins are going to pass on that, type P for pass. Let's get to wide receivers. I think the Dolphins will carry six wide receivers. They might carry seven but because of Skylar Thompson making the team, they're probably just going to have to carry six. Tyree killed Jalen Waddle, said Wilson. Trent Sherfield is going to make this football team. He was not in my initial roster projection video. Not only is he going to make the team, I have him making the team as the fourth wide receiver. He has looked fantastic in camp, as well as Eric Azukanma. Lynn Bowden Jr. gets the final spot. That final spot's going to come down between the five guys that you see on the right side of your screen, but I believe Lynn Bowden Jr. wins that battle. River Craycraft unfortunately gets cut. I like him a lot. Preston Williams, a surprise cut. He was not in my initial uh, roster projection cuts. However, now he is. Muhammad Sanu gets cut. Braylon Sanders to the practice squad. When you're talking about Williams, he's dug his own grave with his attitude, with his social media behavior. He does not want any part of this team, it, it appears. And you got to trade him because I don't think he's going to make this team anyway. I think Sherfield is a better player. I think River Craycraft might be a better player than uh, than Preston Williams. And I don't even have Craycraft making this team. I think Preston's not even going to be the, the first man out, if you will. So I think you have to trade Preston Williams because I don't think he's going to make this football team anyway. And you might be able to get a fifth or a sixth round pick for him. What is the percent chance? That Preston Williams gets traded. Go down in the comments section and predict it. Over 50% is what I would say because you have to compare it to the Adam Shaheen situation. The Dolphins knew that Shaheen was not going to make this football team. 
They tried to trade him. Obviously, that trade uh, ended up getting canceled because of the failed physical, but somewhat of a similar situation with Williams. Chris Greer knows that Preston might not make the team. Trade him. Get something in return because you're going to cut him otherwise. Let's talk about the tight ends because this tight end room is now very interesting after Shaheen was placed on IR yesterday. I think there's pretty much two locks at this point. Gasicki and Smythe will make the team. Hunter Long is a near lock, but not a complete lock because Tanner Connors looked better in camp. Seathan Carter, I don't think, has much of a chance. I understand he's pretty versatile. He can play uh, the H-back position as well. But Connor has looked very, very good, and I hope that they find a way to keep this guy at least on the practice squad. I really like Tanner Connor. Again, Long is not a lock to make this team. Connor has a chance to beat him out for the final tight end spot. Before we get into more about the roster, I want to tell you about our friends over at Mint Mobile because Mint Mobile is going to make sure that you have the strongest connection. It's going to switch seamlessly between 5G and 4G LTE. I cannot tell you the number of times I've been in a situation where I do not have the strongest connection on my phone. It's very frustrating. That's why I made the switch to Mint Mobile. And another reason I made the switch is because look at look at that cost, $15 per month. You're going to be able to save so much money while having the best possible cell phone coverage. Go get that deal we're giving you, Dolphins, today. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. Let's talk about the offensive line. Uh, the offensive line has zero depth. And I watched this YouTube video yesterday talking about that. I mean, just it's a mess, the offensive line right now. So here is who I have making the team. Five, or I should say ten offensive linemen, a backup for each position. So Armstead obviously going to be starting left tackle. Eichenberg and Williams right now starting left guard, starting center. However, that might change. Williams yesterday had a brutal day of practice. Maybe his worst day, worst day of practice yet. So, again, this offensive line look might change before the season starts. Robert Hunt, Austin Jackson starting. Kellen Deesh makes the team. Most people doing roster projection videos do not have Deesh, but Deesh had no business being an undrafted free agent. He was a fourth or fifth round talent. Solomon Kinley, Michael Dieter, Robert Jones, Greg Little round out my list. I think Little barely makes the team. Adam Pankey, I think, is going to get cut, as well as Larnell Coleman, Keon Smith. Blaze Andrews. I really, really like Andrews. He has an outside chance to make this football team, UDFA out of Minnesota. Uh, I hope they keep him on the practice squad. Coleman might be cut next Tuesday. I mean, Coleman is just not good at playing football. Now, what did I miss on offense? Go down in the comments section. Let me know. What did I miss? Who did I get wrong? Who do you think is going to make the team that I have missing or vice versa? Go down, chime in. Let's talk about the defense now, beginning with the defensive line. A couple practice squad guys on this list. Emmanuel Logba, Raekwon Davis, Christian Wilkins. Look at that, Porter Gustin. Shout out the Higginson family who were tuned into our watch party the other night. Cousins of Porter Gustin. I have Porter Gustin making this football team because he looked great in the preseason game. He's looked great in camp. John Jenkins, Zach Sealer, I believe, makes the team as well. Niall Scott, who they just picked up yesterday, going to be a short-lived stint for him. He gets cut. Owen Carney, Benito Jones, bent still all to the practice squad. I think they carry six defensive linemen. Now, just a reminder that we are live every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern time, 1 o'clock Pacific time. So we will be live tomorrow. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, because if you have your notifications turned on, you are going to get an alert on your cell phone as we go live, it's the best way to stay in the loop with our channel. Go turn on your notifications. We're going to be live tomorrow previewing the Saturday game against the Las Vegas Raiders. I can't promise anything. Mitchell Rents might make a special appearance. We might have to make that happen tomorrow on Dolphins Live. Go down and subscribe to the channel. We will see you tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern time. Let's talk about the linebackers. In my initial roster projection video, I had nine linebackers making the team. That has changed. Now I have eight linebackers making the team. Jalen Phillips, Alandon Roberts, Jerome Baker, Melvin Ingram, AVG, Scarlett, Tyndall, and Riley. I think seven of these guys are locks. Scarlett may be the one guy who's not a lock to make this team. Let's talk about the odd men out. Sam McGuavin was in my initial roster projection video making the team. Not anymore. I think he gets cut along with Munson, Hodge, Johnson, Cameron Good, seventh-round pick, barely misses out on making this football team. I have him on the practice squad. He's got a lot of potential, but the linebacker room uh, right now does not bode in his favor. I think they carry eight because if Skylar Thompson makes the team, there's going to be an odd man out on defense, and I think that's going to be either the linebacker or the corner position. 
They might carry five corners instead of six. They might carry eight linebackers instead of nine. There's going to be an odd man out when you carry three quarterbacks on your football team. Speaking of corners, let's talk about that. There's going to be a, there's going to be a surprise on the screen. Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, Nick Needham, Keon Crossan, all locks to make this football team. I think CB4 was going to belong to Trill Williams, but he is out for the season with a torn ACL. Mackenzie Alexander, who they just picked up the other day, he is going to make this football team. I really like Mack. He's got a lot of experience in the league. He's a very solid pickup this late into the offseason. Cater Kohu barely misses out. I like Kohu. I like his potential. Hopefully they find a way to get him on the practice squad. Cut is Elijah Hamilton. And yes, that is not a typo on the screen. You are seeing that correctly. Former first round pick out of Auburn, Noah Igbenogany, is going to get cut. And I understand that I have said on the show before that, man, I don't think he's going to get cut because he has a $4.55 million dead cap hit. But the team has to swallow that and move on. Mackenzie Alexander is better. Keon Crossan is better. Cater Kohu might be better. Undrafted free agent out of Texas A&M Commerce. Igbenogany did not look good in the preseason game. He has not looked good in training camp. I understand that he is a former first-round pick. And when you cut a former first-round pick two and a half years after he was drafted, it's not a great look for you as a GM. But you have to acknowledge that you made a mistake there and move on from Noah Igbenogany. Will Noah Igbenogany make the team? Oh, no, Frigbo, as I like to say. Type M for make or type W for won't down in the comments section. Go down, chime in. You know, before I did the video today, before I was building the video, I'm like, yeah, he's going to make the team. But then I looked and I'm like, man, I don't think he's going to make this football team. I really don't. Let's talk about the safeties. Javon Holland, Brandon Jones, and Eric Rowe are the three locks. After that, it is very unpredictable. But still, I have UDFA, Verone McKinley the third making this football team. Clayton Fagellum, I understand the special team's value there, but Verone McKinley has more upside. Fagellum gets cut. Wilson gets cut. Campbell to the practice squad. That is my roster projection for the safeties. What did I miss on defense? Go down in the comments section. I'm sure some of y'all are going to say Benogany's going to make the team maybe instead of Mac Alexander, and I fully understand why you're thinking that. I think the final spot in terms of the corners will come down between them, but it's not just me that's saying Igbenogany is in danger of missing this football team. Barry Jackson, who I very much respect, Dolphins columnist for the Miami Herald, also says that Igbo might be in trouble. Let's talk about the special teams. Another surprise you're going to see on the screen. Jason Sanders will be the kicker. Blake Ferguson, the long snapper. Obviously, the punter competition right now is between longtime NFL veteran Thomas Morstead and unknown Sterling Hoffrichter, who was a seventh-round pick out of Syracuse two years ago. I think Sterling Hoffrichter beats out Thomas Morstead for this job. And I know what you're thinking. Even producer Patrick Seaman's probably thinking this, that Will went to college with Sterling. He is biased. Yes, I am. But Morstead might be in trouble. First of all, Morstead played on Saturday, but he didn't punt. He was just the uh, he was just the holder. So he didn't punt. Sterling took all the punts, four punts, three of them inside the 20. And let's keep in mind, I understand that Morstead is a big name, that he's been in the league since 09. He has been let go three times in the last year and a half. Saints, Jets, Falcons, all cut him. He's kind of washed. Sterling, 25 years old, seventh round pick out of Syracuse two years ago, has more upside. That's just a fact. So who's out and who's in for my initial roster projection video several weeks ago? Skylar Thompson did not make the team in my initial roster projection video. He's in. Trent Sherfield in. Porter Gustin, shout out Higginson family, in. Mackenzie Alexander, Sterling Hoffrich are all making this football team. Adam Butler out. He obviously uh, got cut last week, so he's going to be out. Preston Williams, Adam Pankey, Sam Aguavin, Thomas Morstead. That is, those are the changes, I should say, from my initial roster projection video to this roster projection video. We're going to do another one, maybe even two more before they finalize the 53-man roster. Thanks for watching this edition of Dolphins Today. We'll see you tomorrow on Dolphins Live.